Hey everyone, I'm Travis with HePress Nation, and in this video, I'll be showing you what to expect when working with a Vinyl Systems Evo Cutter, beginning with installing the SciMaster cutting software and ending in the steps to take in making your first cut. We'd like to give you an idea of what it's like to use a Vinyl Systems machine. If you're joining us for the first time, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell to be the first to watch new tutorials, streams, and more from ePress Nation. Before we begin, we must note that vinyl systems cutters can only be operated on a Windows computer with no Mac support at this time. For this video, we'll be using a 28 inch vinyl systems Evo cutter, but the setup process applies to all other sizes of the Evo cutter. You will only need to indicate the specific size of your model when prompted by the software. Before doing anything to the cutter itself, we will need to install the SciMaster software provided with every vinyl systems cutter as a digital download with the activation code. Once you've downloaded the SciMaster installer on your computer, extract the folder inside its zip file and open the installer to proceed through the setup, using your activation code when needed. Some preferences will be to your choice, such as what measurement units to display in SciMaster. The install COM port driver checkbox optional for Evo cutters, and most importantly, the cutter model to select for driver installation. After SignMaster's installation is complete, plug in the cutter's power and USB cords to their proper outlets, then switch on its power. <laughs> Open SignMaster and load a sample document. Click the blade icon on the top toolbar, then click send to cutter. Make sure your vinyl systems Evo is selected in the select model section and click its properties button. In checking if SignMaster does recognize your Evo cutter, go to the connection tab and change your port type to direct USB port, then set USB port to your cutter, which will appear with a complex name, though with only one device selectable. This will in fact be the cutter. With the machine now prepared in SignMaster, click done and close the send to cut window. Before we proceed with test cutting, unload the cutter's blade and adjust it by twisting up to where it is as tall as a paper's thickness. Use the blade holder's golden ring to lock the adjustment, then load it back into your cutter. Make sure the blade goes through the clamp's ridge upon loading, as this will allow it to slide all the way into the holder. With the left and right directional buttons, we will adjust the force to 90 grams. And with the up and down buttons, the speed to 400 millimeters per second. Now load a sheet of vinyl through the back. First, by bringing the pinch roller lever up, then pulling just enough vinyl inwards. Place the vinyl below the black and white half box marks, which are as wide as the vinyl itself. Then move the pinch rollers below the marks and to the left and right edges of your vinyl, using the cutter's ruler and keeping it straight. Next, push the lever back down, then press the pause button on your cutter. From here, you will use the directional buttons to align the blade to the front right corner of the material between the pinch wheels. Once the blade is in position, you may press the origin button to give the cutter a start point. Now, let's make a new document and create a simple design to test with. With the graphic ready, click on the blade icon, then send to cutter. Go to the cutter control tab and change the blade offset number to 0.45. Going back to the general tab, you can check useful options such as mirror and auto weed box, which SciMaster will apply to and remember for current and future cuts. When you are ready, click the cut now button, then click yes to proceed with cutting. Once your cut is complete, unload the vinyl by pressing the pause button and hold the down button until it is completely out. You may weed your test cut to get a better idea of your cutter's results, but by this point it should be ready for use. We hope that you're now ready to cut with your Vinyl Systems Evo Cutter, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to be the first to know when we post new videos. If you have any more questions or issues about your Vinyl Systems machines, please leave us a comment, call us at 800-215-0894, or you can go to heatpressnation.com. I'm Travis with Heat Press Nation. Thanks for watching.